So I believe it's what the gym, and it's a game review of A Play Tale Innocence. It took me one week to do, and 12 hours for the amount of hours it took me to get the game done. And we'll get started with, with the good, but before we get started with that, let me know if you play the game, and what you thought of it in the comment se section below. Now we'll begin with the good. So, for, for the story, it wasn't anything hugely unique. It reminded me of games like Brothers of Tale of Two Sons, but I, I still thought it was very enjoyable. It still had a lot of twists and turns that I wasn't really expecting to really see. Um, and I, I thought I was I was definitely in there for the ride, and I thought that that, that the story they went they went with wasn't anything amazing, but I still do think it is quite unique. There's not too many games that have this type of story, but there are still a few that do have this type of story. Um, in terms of the gameplay, uh, well, I thought the gameplay was really enjoyable, and I thought most of the game was enjoyable for the most part. Um, I thought that the gameplay wasn't 10 out of 10. It wasn't anything rev 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 revolutionary. I should have to say that word then. But it was still very, very fun, and the controls were, were quite simple. They weren't too complicated, um, and yeah, there's, there's not really too much else to really say about the, about the controls. They weren't too difficult to mem to memorize, um, and in terms of the slingshot ability, which is one of the abilities you get in the game, um, it's it's the most important ability used in the game, and I I'm surprised it's not been really been ma ma many video games with a slingshot being one of the main what being one of the main weapons, and I, I really enjoy using the slingshot. It's very satisfying when 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 you use it, and there's those different puzzles in integrated with it as well, which I do find quite fun. Um, and speaking of puzzles, I thought the puzzles were, were quite were quite tough, not 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 gonna lie. I wasn't really expecting there to be any any puzzles, but the the puzzles that there were in the game, they were they were really, really fun. You were scratching your head a few times though. I think we had to use YouTube a few times. Um but but the puzzles were still quite fun. Um and they were quite satisfying to complete as well. Um, I also really like the rats as well. That um, that they're sort of part of the the puzzle aspect of of the game, and they're sort of like the main villains as well. well one, one, one of the main villains in the game, um, and I thought it was quite a te technical achievement with the amount of rats in the game. There was like thousands of rats I could see on the screen um, in one area, and it's just amazing how they're able to do stuff like that. Now, I mean, this game did come out. In twenty nineteen, um, but it is still it's just still ama amazing now. Um, I, I thought it was definitely it was just definitely really cool to see that amount of rats. Um, it definitely made the game feel a lot more realistic. Um, I also did quite like the upgrades as well. They weren't anything too amazing, but they did give me like the Last of Us vibes. So it's pretty cool to give me some the memories of that. Um, in terms of the collectibles, there is a good amount, not too much, not too little. I think that there's a perfect amount of collectibles. Um, I also really enjoy the characters as well. I thought most of them were developed very nicely and had great chemistry with one another. How, there, are, there are a few characters that I do think are underutilised. I do think they introduced too many characters. Or we'll move me on to that when we go into the bad. But in terms of the villains of the game, they're not anything too too, fan, too fancy or anything. But they are, they are still quite good, quite good villains. Um, I also thought that it was quite a good length of the game, not too short, not too long. Um, def definitely, I think, the perfect in terms of the length for the game. Um, and I really enjoy the graphics and attention to detail. I wasn't expecting it to look as great as it, do as it does. It's definitely one of the better looking games that, that I've definitely played. Um, that's really all I've got to say for the good. Overall, I did have a great time with, with, with this game. There's quite a bit to mention about the good. There's probably other things I forgot to mention now, but it was a while when I put the play the game. I played the game, oof, I can't remember, it was at least a month ago now. Um, but I do think about it, and I do think, yeah, that, that, was, that was a really great game. But it does have its flaws, which is what we'll move on to now, being the bad. So in terms of the bad, um, I thought the writing for the story could have been done a bit better, and it introduced too many characters, in my opinion. I think some of them could have been gone and then some of the other characters could have been developed a bit more. I mean, it would have changed the story then it might not make the story as good as it was. I wanted to know more about them and there wasn't really enough time with 
with quite with quite a few of them. I wanted to know more. I felt like it ended too quickly with with some of them. Um, to me, I also thought it's not my sort of game. Really, I'm not too into horror psychological type things. But for someone that isn't a fan of that, I still really did enjoy it. Uh, and it didn't show it didn't show in the trailers that there were a lot of side characters in the game. It's not really anything bad per se. It's just if if you're expecting it to just be the 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 the, the sister and brother, you you're wrong. There's other, there's other characters in the game. It was a pleasant surprise to see, but if you were expecting it just to be those those two, that isn't what you're going to be getting. So that's it for the bad um, and for the verdict. I'm glad I played the game when 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 I did, um, and I recommend this game to people who like horror games and for people who like video games in general. I think if you don't mind scary things that much, it wasn't really that scary, more psychological um, and more su suspense, um, not not really scary. So I, I would try this one if, if if you just look at the trailers and just see what you think, really. Um, and I rate this game an 8.5 out of 10. I might give it an 8, but at the moment it's an 8.5. I did really enjoy it. There were some good and great things about it. And there were some parts that definitely could have been improved on. Um, and I, I really did enjoy the game. Like I said, probably about three times in this video. Um, that's really all I'll say for the review. For the game review of A Player Tale Innocence. Um, it came out in 2019. But at the, I don't, don't know if it is at the moment. But it was free for PlayStation or for PSN PlayStation members. So it, if, if you have that, keep, keep a look out. Because A Player Tale Innocence... Is free. I'm not sure if it's still free now. Uh, we did play the game on the PS5, so I don't know if it's to do with if it's just on the PS5, not on the PS4. But I think it should be on the PS4 as well. But that's it for the game review for this game, Play It Tell Innocence. And if you're a big fan of Marvel, on Thursday I will do the trailer reaction to Spider-Man: No Way Home. I've only seen the, the teaser for it. I've not seen the official trailer, which I can't wait for that. Um, so if you're a big fan of Marvel, definitely stay in tune for Thursday. Um, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.